Right, hello everybody and welcome to Trafford Golf Centre. I'm Matt Fryer and today I'm here to help you improve your golf. So today's video is looking at probably what I class as one of the hardest shots in golf and that is a three wood or a fairway wood off the deck. Now obviously we can peg them up and use them off the tee but sometimes we find ourselves a little bit further out on a par four or we find that we're trying to go and get as close as we can or knock it on a par five and that will require us to hit either you know the three, the five wood, the seven wood, what it is we've got in our bag to produce that shot. And one of the things generally that I find a lot with my students is that they say, you know, the most common shot they tend to see is one where they're topping the golf ball or they hit one that just goes scooting out along the floor 50 yards and they feel like it's a wasted attempt and they just find it very, very hard to get the ball up in the air. Now, as we know, the three wood, let's say, hasn't got much loft, 15 degrees, mine has got onto it. So it's not an awful lot, but it's still got some stuff on there. And opposed to the driver, it's not as deep a head, it's a little bit of a shallower head. So what we should be able to do is pick it off a little bit cleanly. It's gonna be able to get underneath the ball a little bit more and get it up in the air. Now, the common thing I would say that I see the most of that causes this shot to be topped and thinned a bit like this one is everyone makes a really good setup. Everything's looking good. And then we get into the moment of truth down at impact. And what we're seeing is something where we start to pull up and away from the golf ball in an aid to try and get it up in the air. That was a really solid top there. It's gone all of three yards and fallen off the edge of the, uh, the bay. And that was me trying to actually help this golf ball up in the air because to hit a good fairway would surely we're gonna have to get it up in the air. Not so true. If we looked at some uh, some averages, the average attack angle for a three wood on the PGA Tour is actually minus 2.9 degrees. Now, albeit that is off a tee peg, but if you actually watch these guys peg the ball up as well, what you'll see is that they barely even have it up above the turf. So safe to say when they're getting it off the ground, they're going to do the same thing. They're actually gonna try and take a little divot with the golf ball. So what I want us to do is something where we're gonna try and take a little divot to deliver a good strike and get the ball up in the air. A bit like that one, I was flushed. And to do that, I'm gonna give you a nice simple drill. So, as I've built my setup now, a couple of things. Number one, the ball's gone further forward in my stance. So already that's gonna help me get a little less down than let's say a seven iron. I've got a slight tilt away from the ball, from the target here, just a, a tiny one like I would see with my driver, I've got a little bit here. But what I've done, as you'll see from the other camera angle now, is I've drawn a little bit of a chalk line. And what I'm going to imagine now, I'm gonna place my ball on it. So the left edge of the ball, the forward side of the ball, one closest to the target, is just on the edge of it there. So all I want to be thinking now is that I'm actually just gonna take that tiny bit of chalk away. Not so much with the irons where I'd have, you know, even sometimes the ball half an inch away and really feel that I'm getting down into the golf ball. What I want to see is that once I've made my good setup and I've got my body slightly tilted, this ball back, I'm gonna make a good swing where I transfer my weight as normal into my lead side, but then I'm just gonna feel that I'm just taking that slight little divot, not the normal one we'd see like I'd say with like your wedge or your seven iron where it's, you know, a good nice little six inch divot. What we're looking for is just a smaller one here, just a grazing, just get a little bit of bruising on the turf, as opposed to the one where I'm thinking, right, okay, I'm gonna get the ball, no turf, and lift it up and see that I get transferred away from the target, this upper body lean away from it. I'm gonna be looking for something where I get in and just take that little brush, and as you can hear there, that slight little brush away from target. So as I get in, build that good setup. All I'm looking for now, I'm just gonna, just gonna take that little bit of chalk off this one. Beautiful. A lot of commitment and all I've done, and as you can see on my face here, 
I've actually now got a line of chalk where I've impacted there. I've taken a tiny divot. Now, it probably goes against the thinking that you would normally have for a three wood that you need to help it up in the air. But let's see that we can try and take small, tiny divots that is gonna help us get the three wood up off the deck and deliver a really crisp strike and see that you hit them with more success. Guys, if you think this tip is gonna help you, give that like button a smash for me. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, feel free. Loads of tips to help your game and it's completely free. Also, if you do wanna come and see me down at Trafford Golf Center, the information's down below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. I might just finish with a little, little rip of my goo here. Whew. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that.